All right, all right, all right. The World Cup qualifiers are finally over, but the main event is just getting started. There are now a select few who have grinded and worked their butt off to get to the final event, beating out millions of participants from all over the world. The prize pool is no ordinary one, with millions of dollars on the line and even thousands of dollars for low placers. It's the biggest Fortnite tournament to date and the largest prize pool in all of esports, period. 100 solo qualifiers as well as 50 dual partners have placed at the highest ranks invited to New York City to take on the best Fortnite players in the world for a grand prize. Everyone who's qualified for this event is guaranteed, I said guaranteed, a whopping $50,000 in earnings, at the least. Okay, so keep in mind that these players are coming from all over the world, man. The best players from the NA East, the NA West, Europe, Asia, Brazil, Oceania are all coming together in one spot to compete for millions of dollars. The Fortnite World Cup tournament in New York City will ultimately decide who are the best Fortnite players in the world are. But it's going to be a while until the actual event unfolds. So while we wait, here are our top picks for the solo players most likely to place in the top five. Okay, so keep in mind, these are not in order, okay, so don't judge us, but rather our top picks. Even if you didn't place in the World Cup yourself, hey, you can still get some arena wins with the tips and tricks you'll find on ProGuys.com. Hey guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. Let's do this. Phase Dubs is, without a doubt, one of the fiercest competitors in the Fortnite competitive scene. This guy is a monster when it comes to in-game fights and overall consistently. We've seen him place almost every single week, and he's proven that he has what it takes to be the best. This has made him a household name in the Fortnite world and beyond. Oftentimes, when someone is grinding to be the best at something, they're going to need a break or need to reset after a while, causing them to fall off, you know, as some people call it. But Dubs, he's shown us that he can come out on top consistently and do it quite easily. Probably one of the most iconic and outstanding aspects of FaZe Dubs gameplay is his ability to slay out in the end game. If we take a look at his stats in the previous World Cups, we're going to see that his eliminations greatly outweighs his placement points. His game IQ and movement in the end game are without a doubt some of the best in the game. It's very evident that he can pull off victory royales, even when playing against the best players in the world. We've once again seen him eliminate top class opponents in the midst of all the chaos that's in the pro end game. Okay guys, so for our second pick, we have Tifu, who may be a surprise to some of you. Believe it or not, Tifu has something that no other player competing in the World Cup has. Can you guess what it is? Okay, well, it's his ability to turn it on when he sets his mind to it. Honestly, hey, we've seen Tifu struggle with motivation throughout the World Cup. That was especially apparent when the pump was removed. He didn't necessarily play the best during these times, but if you were keeping track of Turner, you'd know that he did something no one expected. He decided that he wanted to make his goal to qualify for the World Cup. This goal would require a top three placing in the weekly tournament. We then saw Tifu absolutely dominate players as he rose to the top of the leaderboards. It was starting to look like he had a good chance of qualifying, and instead of just qualifying, this guy took first place, shocking the world. Yeah, Turner, you're 100% good. Like, you, no think so? you think so? You think so? Definitely, Andy. Yo, 69, yo. <laughs> How do I know for sure? Well, let's let's let's. You've qualified. It's not even close. You had to wait till like 7:25, probably. That's there were many times during his games that he actually had thrown away and lost opportunities, but he got so motivated and had such a strong drive that he pulled it off nonetheless. Tifu is also amazing at maintaining high ground in the end game. He almost always is the highest player on the map in the last crucial moments of the match, and this is usually what guarantees him the victory royale. You know, oftentimes we see Tifu playing very slow, and this is because he's taking his surroundings in and deciding what his next move should be, which shows his thinking that goes into decision making. All right, at number three, hey, we have another one that you may not expect. Are you ready? Well, ready or not, it's Liquid Riversign. Riversign has, without a doubt, showed off something that no one expected. He is most likely one of the most intelligent and underrated Fortnite pros in the running. He's absolutely insane when it comes to making plays that no one, okay, I repeat myself, no one can do. Riversign's in-game IQ is unmatched when it comes to making decisions in fights. We oftentimes see Riversign making such calculated and thought-out decisions that it's almost hard to interpret, even for pros. Analyzing him takes time and lots of critical thinking that he does in the spot. You know, there have been instances where we see Riverside making tiny changes in his gameplay. For example, shooting his shotgun at opponent's walls intentionally in order to confuse them and deal damage to their wall, which he plans to manipulate. 
Being a good Fortnite player under pressure and severe circumstances is no easy task, okay? But, you know, we've mentioned in the past that playing Fortnite at the pro level demands someone with thick skin. You sometimes find yourself running around with 5 to 10 health left and low ammo. Not to mention the hundreds of thousands of people watching you at the same time. Riverside not only keeps his cool, but he also does things that most people can't even fathom. Thanks to this guy's intelligence, which we may repeat, is a rare thing to find in individuals. Fortnite competitive isn't always about in-game, however. You know, a lot of times you see players dominate the early game and mid-game. We see that a lot in Riversound's games. He starts fights when no one expects them and finishes them as the victor. Most players can get away with this because early game and mid game fights are usually fatal and can cause lots of third party. But Riversound's ability to make intelligent plays takes over in these situations. Okay, for example, we've seen him do manipulative tactics that most don't even expect, such as placing opponents in between third parties as he's fighting them so he himself doesn't take any damage. Fortnite itself is probably one of the most demanding games in the esports world in terms of strategy and decision making. One bad decision could cost you tons of points that are needed to qualify, and Riverside knows just what to do almost every time. So, for number 4, we have 100 Thieves Cease. Cease is an outstanding player when it comes to tunneling and maneuvering in the endgame. Most pros should be, but the way he does it, without a doubt, is different than anyone else. Oftentimes, you know, we see top-rated players have high IQs rather than fast mechanics, but Cease is a mechanical warrior. I mean, who knows how much time this guy is spending creative, mastering his building skills. I mean, we can confirm that the way he maneuvers in the endgame using his building skills is unmatched. You've probably heard me talk a lot about maneuvering a lot in this video. This is because maneuvering is a key skill all pros in the Fortnite community must have. Without knowing how to move through the mess that is the end game, you'd have a very hard time trying to even place top 100 in the World Cup. Cease is not only a great solo player, however, he and his duo Elevate are also one of the best duos in the Fortnite competitive league. They've once again qualified for the World Cup and are both monsters when it comes to teamwork. You know, they outplay everyone else in the end game. Watching Cease play as a duo, oh wow, it's an easy way to see him skillfully play off other players. Knowing how to react on other players' movements is a unique skill that he has, especially in fights. His positioning in the endgame is another aspect of his gameplay. He's always in a good spot, and he keeps himself in good spots to deal high damage shots. Oftentimes, even behind enemies, where they don't even have a time to react to his shots. Last but not least, we have Snow. Snow is a very underrated NA West player that shows us a very different skill set. Snow is always playing slow and is known for his non-flashy gameplay. Players like Mongrel are constantly pulling off fast edits and quick builds, whereas Snow is seen being very slow and very efficient with his building. He's not always building and he's seen more with his gun out. Snow is an incredible player when it comes to where he's placing himself. He's always dropping down on opponents, eliminating them with ease. Not to mention his ability to take high ground in the end game. His play style can a lot of times be compared to players like Tifu, where it's slow but deadly. His consistency goes to show you how good he really is at the game. Most of the time in big tournaments like these, we see these type of players coming out on top as they don't get a lot of recognition for their mental capacities. Big players who have lots of eyes on them are oftentimes the ones with good building and aiming. But people like Snow go to show you that there's more to Fortnite than just that. As we reach the end of this video, guys, we just want to thank you. We also wanted to ask, who do you think will come out on top in the Fortnite World Cup and why? Hey, we're interested to hear your thoughts about the World Cup Finals in New York City. And we'd like to wish you guys the best of luck with your Fortnite grind. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. Hey, connect with me on my Instagram. I'd love to hear from you as we build together. We got a lot more stuff coming out. We'll see you soon.